Okay, so just a bit of a technique sort of uh, chord video on um, playing Hey Jude. So there's a few new chords in there. Most of them are okay. Uh, not too big of a deal. So I'm just going to, first of all, I'm just going to go down through the new chords. Uh, just go through them and then any other little tidbits along the way as well. So first first one we may not have uh, come up with yet, up against yet, is C7. So we know this is C and then C7. So... So that's that's all that's all there is to it. You're just taking it from the third fret down to the first. That's it. So that's C7. Next oddball is B flat. So so now given that B flat and A sharp, they refer to the same thing. You could just as easily call it A sharp. Um, you could figure out, you know, just from knowing what A is, how to play A sharp. You know, just one up, right? So if we if we've got A major here, A. Switch it around so the index finger is free. Then take everything up a fret. Now, obviously, these two down here are in the same spot that they were. They're both open, so that's where the bar comes in on the first fret. So, right there. So, there it is. Now, so, first finger barring the bottom two strings on the uh, first fret. Second finger, second fret on the second string down and third finger third fret on the top string now you might remember from when we did b minor that uh, some people were having trouble getting this note up here but we said that because this note is already here that it's uh, you know not not exactly redundant i mean the chord will sound a little bit more full with both of them in there, but it's it's not adding anything to the chord that's not already there. So if you just block this one out, so you see the way I'm touching it there, I'm barring these three, but touching this one. So that's blocked. So you do, if you're not gonna hit that extra note, you do have to block it because if you leave it open, it's a, di it's, it's a different chord. So same applies here. So this note here, is the same as that one so what you can do if you want is just still bar these two or you can you can use two fingers i'd recommend barring it because you're, you're kind of it's a bit stuffy with two fingers and then but let's just go with that and then we bring the third finger in here and as well it's touching to get rid of that one so that either that that's b flat <clears throat> uh, that, that's just as good you can bar it and do that same thing or you can get the third finger or little finger if you're if it suits better and there you go there's b flat okay so next one next oddball is f7 <clears throat> so the context uh, context wise where f7 comes in it's it's on the to make it better ah. that little bit so we've got so you'll see a little um, string of chords there, F, A minor, that's just taking up the first finger. Then for the F7, you're putting the first finger back down where it was, but adding in third finger, third fret on the second string down. So it's, there's F, A minor, and then F7. So it's exactly the same as F, just added third finger, third fret, second string down. So, etc. Uh, so F7, um, Hey Jude refrain. So G minor is the next one. So we've got ah, and anytime you feel the pain, B flat. Hey Jude F refrain. G minor. There it is. So now because you're going to be coming at that one from an F, what you can do is if you see the way those two are lined up. All you have to do is just take them, move them as one unit down a string. So here they are for F, they go down a string. And as that's happening, your third finger should be coming in, third fret, third string down. So coming from the F. So ideally, you want to do it with the, the, as little movement as possible. So I'm keeping my fingers down out of the way just, just for clarity. But if, you know, when you're playing it, they should be just kind of hanging right over where they're about to be needed. So if I'm playing F going into a G minor, 
this is how I'll hold it, right? I've got these two holding, being held down, and this one is just hanging over, waiting to go down. Because you always want to minimize the amount of movement involved in changing from one chord to the next, make it smoother, more efficient, all that stuff. So there's G minor anyway. So you've got from the F, take all of this down by one string. So that's here and here, adding in the third finger then. So that's G minor. Um, okay, and then right at the very end, the uh, na 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 bit. Um, so that's F. flat so easiest way to play that one as far as I can tell is no, not that anyway yeah so so here we've got first finger first fret on the bottom string then third fret with the little finger I'd recommend on the third string down or little finger yeah on the third string down third fret and same fret third one on the second string down with your third finger And then that from there you've got B flat. So it's So you're coming out from the F. So if we're playing F, like when I was going into the G minor, I'm gonna have this finger hanging over. Now I'm gonna have both of them hanging over, roughly where they're needed. And then first finger moves down a string, same fret, just down a string, middle finger comes away altogether, and these two come in. So there's the F. So that's pretty much all you need to know. Strumming wise, nice and nice and handy. Um, no, no need to be too specific about it. Uh, so one, one, two, three. Four. So you're going down, 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 and then you have the option of going up as usual in between those downs. So, don't make it bad. Take a sad song. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and. And you can throw those ups in between the downs pretty much wherever you feel like. And uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. So hey Jude, and we'll have. Um, What's it called? Um, let it be. But um, that's simple enough, chord-wise. Anyway, uh, there's there's nothing in there that, that we don't already know. So, all right. I'll see you Monday.